When you hop on Splice, you're either searching for two things, fire drums or catchy loops. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to make drums from scratch today, but I am going to show you guys how to make two fire loops that sound like this. I'm not gonna lie, those sound fire. But I'm gonna show you guys a formula that worked for me to spark your creativity, as well as show you guys the new Arturio V collection. I'm talking showing you guys five presets, as well as some of my favorite banks. Before we start, excuse my voice, and if I cough in the video, I caught COVID, but even that couldn't stop me from giving you guys a video full of gems. So let's get started. So now we're in the session. This is the first loop. I know it doesn't sound crazy. It's actually very, very simple. I find that the simple loops give you a lot more room to create different type of ideas. I always kind of keep in mind that I'm not trying to impress producers. I'm trying to impress like artists. If you're trying to like impress producers, then you're just gonna overthink and just start doing unnecessary stuff. But for me, this is cool because you could add some simple drums, speed it up, maybe pitch it up like four notes, and then boom, it sounds good. So let's start with the main sound. The first thing I started with was this melody. Now this is actually a MIDI from this pack. I'm not gonna lie, I was having a little bit of trouble just trying to create melodies because my head was like throbbing. And luckily I was able to find some MIDIs on Splice. I used this preset out of the Prophet 5 V collection. I liked it because it sounded lush. All I added was RC20, uh, just the EQ to cut the lows and some spring reverb. The next sound I had was these like little sprinkles. Simple. I'm not trying to be Mozart. I'm not trying to be like Beethoven on the keys and no shit like that. I'm just, you know, trying to get an idea out. The preset that I used out of this one was the black and blue preset. And then I just added a filter and then some more spring reverb. The next sound I added was this like weird lead. The next thing I added was just little sprinkle chords. Just some lighthearted chords, just tucked in the background. I did mess with the effects in here though, in Analog Lab. If you go and you choose any preset, and then you hit edit preset, you could actually like tweak the little effects they have in there. There's actually a preset for my guy, Nikhil. He has like an analog bank. It's actually like super fire sound. Like. After that, the last thing I added was a synth bass. preset that I used was funk bass. It doesn't sound like this. I did tweak some of the filter settings and some of the ADSR settings. As far as like melodic elements, like that's it. The thing that really carried this loop was the textures. A lot of these textures are just like from like random packs. All I did was pitch it down and then I added a flanger, the EQ, and then a plate reverb. And it sounded like this. Just something super in the background. Ah, <coughs> uh, man, my head hurts, but I'm pulling through for you guys. <laughs> my favorite part of the beat, and something that I've been using a lot lately, is these little arps. All I did was add Echo Boy and just cut off the lows. This sound actually comes from the DMB pack. This is what it sounds like. I don't know, I just like the arp stuff. That's just pretty hard to me. I didn't do nothing crazy with the mixes or anything like that. I just rendered it out like that after leveling it. But just add some basic drums and it could sound cool like this. test drums just to see how it flows together of course i'll go back in add some crazier drums but for now you get the idea for the first one. Oh man my head is throbbing right now let's go to the second one i think the second one is just as simple
you get the idea. It kind of gives me like a dark Travis Scott kind of vibe. And it's only two chords. Let me break it down for you right now. Now, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with today's music. A lot of music is like dark and it's very simple. If you count them, they're really under five chords. Now, I know everybody's heard of Metro Boomin and a lot of Metro Boomin productions, they center around these two chords. They're called sustain chords. If you don't know what sustain chords are, they pretty much give a darker feel. Let me break it down for you. This scale is A minor. This is an A minor chord. If I take this middle note and I bring it down, this is a sus two chord. And if I bring this up to D, it's a sus four chord. I don't know chords like that. I just follow my ear, but I pretty much know that's what these are called. I actually made this on my couch when I was supposed to be resting. The real thing that inspired this whole idea was the sound that I found in one of the new Arturia VSTs called Korg MS-20. The preset is called Fluty Brass. And it just reminded me of some like dark Scarface type of shit. Yeah, that shit's sick. <laughs> it's actually a super fire VST and it got a lot of good presets. You could screenshot this because these are some of the presets that I say that I like. I haven't gone through all of them, but I made some shit with them. <laughs> I made like some yeet type of shit that was supposed to be in this video, but I accidentally deleted it. So my bad. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, my throat is killing me. So I rendered that out and then I put a spring reverb on it and then a flanger. I converted it to wave and instead of throwing it into FL Slicer for like that sample chop feel, I just decided to cut off a little bit at the end. After I pitched it down, I had an idea for like a reverse part. All I did was threw kilohertz reverser on it, printed it, and then found a little chop to tastefully fit it in at the end. So it'll sound like this. The idea kind of hit me and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Might as well keep that. It just added a little texture and I don't have like guitar pedals unless Spice wants me to do a video on guitar pedals. Then I got you guys. I don't have guitar pedals, so I use effects and I'll just like mess around for a while and then I'll chop probably just like one small part and I'll use that as like a little texture. It really doesn't matter like what VST, like I could use guitar rig or hardcore and still achieve the same sound. But if you guys want a guitar pedal video, let me know down in the comments down below. And if you guys wanna watch a previous video on how I make melodies as well as create textures using guitar rig, definitely go check out my YouTube channel and watch this video. The next sound I added was this arp. Uh, just a little delay, Eternity, Pan Man, and a filter that I automated. I used Jupiter 8 for the sound. The arp is really there for like ear candy. Next I used this choir. And the VST I used was Augmented Voices. This is actually my first time using this one. And for the effects, I added this free VST called Finisher Micro. You guys should watch the shorts because I put you guys onto a lot of free VSTs that a lot of people are sleeping on. So definitely go check those out. And the last thing I added was this bass. For this one, I just used the Jupiter 8. I'm really learning like more about synths and stuff. I know every synth is different, but I will say that these buttons and these buttons right here come in super clutch. It just helps me not overthink. Sometimes I spend way too much time like tweaking stuff. Having those little buttons there, super big help. Outside of that, I just added this little box. And that's pretty much it. Now, when it comes to using Analog Lab, I like using other people's preset banks because that sparks a different type of creativity for me. I'm not heavy into sound design and I'm definitely not one of those people that have the patience to sit there for like two hours and just tweak until we get the right settings. I don't have time for that. So I do buy preset banks from other people. Here's some of my favorite preset banks. There's these guys from Canada and I think overseas too. They're called the Loophole. Man, they have like these crazy banks. Like listen to this sound.
fire. <laughs> Eli Brown and Lewis Flynn are my guys. They always lace me with the preset bang, so definitely go check them out. I love this aperture bang from Five Crazy and XY Nothing. super crazy one of my favorite banks is from my guy Nikel. he does a lot of like reggaeton music and a lot of them are like reggaeton influence <laughs> and the last one i'm going to show you is from my guy the 44th floor I'm not gonna lie, it would take me like hours to create those sounds. I also love my guy Noah Cruz's banks. Those are super fire. Those aren't on Splice, but I'm pretty sure Splice will have some analog bank labs very soon. So that's gonna be it for the video. I hope I showed you guys something to spark your creativity and I hope this helps you in the right direction. As always, if you guys want access to these plugins from Arturia, click the link down below and join Splice's rent to own program. One more important thing before you go. By the time you guys see this, I'll be another year older. My birthday's on May 31st, and I'm super blessed to be another year older. And with age comes wisdom. And one thing I wanna give you guys, I feel like applies to young people, older people, anybody really watching this. And that is, you're not in competition with anybody else outside of the person you look to be five, 10 years from now. I know we get wrapped up in comparison because of everything we see on social, but the only person you should be chasing is the person you're looking to be. I know it's a very busy world out there, but take time for you and really envision who that person is. What's their day like? What's their routine? How do they act? How do they treat others? Start really thinking about that and apply that today. Acting as if I was that person in the future has allowed me to not only get opportunities, but also grow and bless others. And that's very important. Whenever I find myself in a jam, I always find myself like coming back to that principle, acting as if. So I don't know your situation, but I promise if you start doing that, your creativity is gonna get better, your life is gonna get better, your ideas, your confidence, everything will get better. This is not an opinion, this is a fact because it's changed my life. But yeah, I hope you guys take that one to heart. Let me know what else in the comments you guys wanna see. And if you guys really do want that guitar pedal video, I'll do my best to make it happen. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys later.